uh, to date in the report that went to Covenant and on which Covenant made the decision. I think it could have certainly could have been better and I think there are things missing. Uh, I'm not quite sure, I'm slightly confused because there's another part of the call in which does impact on this very much, but ultimately it, uh, we can't run away from, it's, it's not about money, but it is about money, um, and therefore that also has to form an overall part of the package, and, and I think that is important that we get that right. So for my part, I do want to see a, a consultation document which is thorough and complete and does cover and, and it will have to inevitably it will have to it's, it is about the best education for the, for the children but it also will have to look at the costs and what the implications are of the different decisions and I would like to ensure to be assured that that will be part of the consultation document. Well, we'll go through the same process again for the, for the next debate I'm assured again that the same advice would uh, indeed hold that whatever decision is made by this committee the supporting evidence of the debate and so on would, would form part of that that, that, that decision um, that, so that's the only assurance I can give you as chair and the advice I have sought that, that what we say and do here will be relevant to any future decision making
will have prompted some degree of uncertainty. That's the real world we live in. People make informed decisions around that issue. And we have heard evidence tonight that this debate hasn't been particularly stimulated by any one particular individual. There's been different cabinet members, different administrations, but the debate has been going on for nearly eight years, to my knowledge, and perhaps even before that. There has been some fundamental game changes. A, the one where the school was deemed to go down from 45 to 40, which made a fundamental change. There will be other issues about the formula and how we have to distribute that, which will come in the next debate. So the world has changed very recently. I'm of a degree of satisfaction, having been through the consultation process, that people will be genuine to their word that they've expressed tonight, that this is a genuine consultation process, and for legal, technical, and in my view, stupid reasons, we couldn't have moved the resolution that said, we will discuss the future options of Lindale School. That would have been a less emotion, emotive. I'm advised that the legal advice is that if closure is an option, then that is the technically the, the route that the, the council has to go down. We just to give you assurance to those parents out there, we've been through this as as the director said, across the whole range of primary schools on the Whittle, and in some areas we've gone back again for a second draw and a second go. And there have been all sorts of different outcomes. Some agree in closure, others not, and other options that come out during the process. I, with a very, very, very sort of heavy heart, believe that that consultation process in its own right will be the correct forum, and the correct place for a real debate about what we do about Lindale and the, the people who fall in this, um, this category of having particular needs. We do, it's long before time, and I guess, I guess like everybody else, it has been a decision that is easier not to make. My real worry would be that we, we don't make a decision of some description and move forward, then something will happen and, and the school will just simply wither on the vine because there will be even more uncertainty around the process. And that would be a crying shame for the professionals involved. It would be a bigger shame for the, for the pupils involved. It would be absolutely catastrophic to walk away from our responsibilities. And the danger I have with, as an individual, not chair, the danger I have with the resolution moved by Leah, that it could, if the, if the nettle is in grass, that it gets kicked into the long grass. So we have another period of review and we get an expert in who gives us a report that may help us or may not help us. And, and I think that the pupils, and particularly the parents who've expressed their wishes tonight, deserve better than that. Uh, no, I, 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 I believe that that's what could happen to that resolution. I think the cabinet have made a safe and sound decision based on all the evidence that's been presented. Uh, and I, I will, for my own personal view, because I don't believe hiding behind the chair as a way out, will in particular be supporting uh, the resolution by Maury. But we will take the vote now. We, we're well aware of what your resolution says. Moved by Pat and seconded by me. Moved by Pat and seconded by Maury. Um, I mean, look, I'm, I'm here. I'm Steve Fouch. You'll see which way my hand goes up. But don't be treating the people like fools. They know what's going on. They're not Excuse kids. me. I have not treated anybody like a fool. Okay. Me members are entitled to have their vote recorded, and that will be equivalent of a car vote. We don't have to shout out for or against. No. So it will be recorded. Yeah, I apologise if, if I misinterpreted you. No, I'm going to move to the vote now, and I'm going to ask advice which you take first. Okay, we're asked to have the, uh, take the amendment moved by Leah Fraser and seconded by Andrew Hodgson. All those in favour of Leah Fraser's amendment, please show. Can I not hear the amendment again? You can hear it again, please. Right, that the council complete the review on the best way to educate support for Lindale
with the planning and writing of this policy? Uh, I mean, I, I, if that, that's it now, I'm not, I'm not, that's the amendment that's been moved. Technically, I believe that would exclude all the other pupils and children from the other special needs schools who would be involved in that sort of debate. So, so. Okay, we're moving to the votes. All those in favour of Leah Fraser's amendment, please show. Can someone count and record their votes? Someone done that for us? Okay, and those against? And those recorded? Okay, so nine votes to try and get. The amendment has been lost. Nine votes to six, and those votes have been recorded. All those in favour of the motion moved by Pat Glassman and seconded by Maura, please show.